What's going on, Aces? Welcome back to the channel. So Kenya Moore has clapped back at Kim Zolciak. So if you guys remember the comment that she made when she was at the OG luncheon this past Sunday, where, you know, Sheree Whitfield got all the OGs together with the exception of NeNe Leakes. So she got Deshaun Snow and she got Lisa Wu and Kim Zolciak all together. Now, they're discussing, you know, old times and having a little kiki, which is fine. And then Sheree brings up the group trip, okay? You can see Kim's face because, <laughs> baby, she ain't got it, okay? Because <laughs> the fans is watching Real Housewives of Atlanta, okay? And I know they like, Kim bet not fix them inflated lips to say that she about to go anywhere out the country, Okay. I don't even know if she got a passport, but the point is the feds don't play the IRS. They want their monties. They want their coin. Okay. So, and because, you know, Kim, she, she's not a, a full-time cast member, Bravo wouldn't cover the cost. So she just ain't got it, period. But anyway, Kim, <laughs> Sheree is talking about the group trip, which is uh, going to Portugal. All right. And Kenya's hilarious. She, you know, she's like, oh, okay. You know, she's answering the phone. She's like, I've never been to Spain. Spain is, <laughs> it's adjacent to Portugal. It's right beside it. But, you know, Portugal is a whole nother country. And, you know, Sh and Kim's like, well, who's all going? So Sheree starts listing off the current cast members. She's like, you know, Marlo. And Kim's like, oh, you know, I love Marlo. And she starts, you know, listing off the other ladies. And then she gets to Kim. And, or she gets to Kenya, I'm sorry, Kenya Moore. And Kim goes, that B is still alive. See, that's wrong on so many levels. And the fact that Kim uses that word so frequently is really problematic in and of itself, all right? But somebody on social media did a flashback to where, you know, the last season that Kim was on there as a full-time housewife, because when she was there, she didn't go on trips. She didn't participate. Like Nene said, Kim is the only person that got <laughs> heart disease, gout. <laughs> she knew how to stroke. <laughs> Nene, <laughs> listen, say what you want to say about Nene Leaks, but I'm telling you, out of all the housewives, she will definitely go down as one of the funniest, okay? Just right off the top. Her wit is unmatched. You know, she was like, what is your scooter, Kim? What is your scooter? Okay? So, Kim, you know, at the reunion, she storms off and she starts weaponizing her tears. And, you know, she calls Andy in the back. And she's talking about how she, you know, um, basically feared for her life. She didn't use those words, but I'm paraphrasing. It was a whole lot of blah, blah, blah. Corey was there supposedly, allegedly, that he had a pow pow. And I'm thinking like, why? Because they're at work, they're at a, a work event. All the women are in ball gowns. The men, are, you know, the men are in tuxedos. Um, this, this whole fear narrative is so exaggerated. And Kim was just so condescending the entire time that she was on Real Housewives of Atlanta between Sweetie, Big Papa, <laughs> And the, you know, the way that she did Croy, you know, and still doing Croy, right? He went back for more because they dismissed the divorce uh, proceedings as a publicity stunt or whatever. I just feel bad for their kids, to be honest, because neither parent really has it uh, screwed on too tightly. But that was my lasting impression of Kim Sosiak, okay? Now she's just back in the news cycle because she's gambled away all their money. Mm -hmm. And the IRS wants their $1.1 million on top of the casino, who wants their $52,000 on top of, you know, the cars and the just everybody. Target, they want their $2,500. Target, Target said, you know, run me my money. So this is what Kenya Moore has to say. She says, this comment is truly evil. Okay, she says, I'm not a Kim Sosiak fan, but I never kicked her when she was sorry, is down. <laughs> Learning of her divorce, foreclosure, repossessions, gambling accusations, unfit mom claims, and canceled show now begging 
Bravo TV and producers to come back to Roa. Okay. Um, because, you know, a Kenya Moore stand, the account says this comment from a racist is truly disgusting. Meanwhile, your evil blank spent pennies <laughs> to get a feature to look like a black woman. Grow the F up. Kenya is not even thinking about you. And then she tags Kim <laughs> like six or yeah, six times. Okay. So a few things here, right? Kenya is one of those housewives similar to Nini, right? I think to be a housewife, you have to have a sharp wit because I love Deshaun Snow, but you know, just yes, girl, give us nothing. Her her husband or her ex-husband, Eric Snow, actually went to my old high school. So shout out to Eric Snow. <laughs> and that's why I have love for Deshaun, right? But baby, her energy was on negative 100, just like it was back when she was OG on the show. Okay. Um, Lisa Wu, strong as ever, hilarious, but Kim has not, in my opinion, evolved at all. And we can see that um, with her coming back, still making the same, you know, um, despicable comments, still just, she just hasn't matured after all that time. What is this season? 15, 15 years, 15 years. <laughs> My goodness. You know, if you haven't changed or evolved in 15 years, that's really sad. There's this whole show called Arrested Development where they're poking fun at, you know, wealthy people who don't have to grow up, similar to like the Trump family. And, you know, there's a lot of wealthy people, I think, because they're so protected that they are and they don't have any adversity to help them grow. Right. Because that's how we grow, even physically. Right. Your muscles, they get stronger because of the adversity, because you're, you know, lifting heavy weights and, and growing stronger. Similar to life, that's how you mature, that's how you grow. Well, if you have wealth protecting you all the time, then there's no room to grow and you stay stuck in this adolescent stage or wherever they are. But Kim, that's what she reminds me of. She reminds me of a big unruly teenager who gambles all their money away, who you know, only makes her kids chicken fingers per croy or whatever. Um, you know, that she wasn't taking care of her kids. He called her a bad mom, but he's willing to stay with her because, I mean, I guess, you know, six kids, that's a lot. But I mean, Melody from Love and Marriage Huntsville, she allegedly found a Canadian billionaire from what I understand. She got four kids, so it's not impossible. But <sighs> Kim is just, she is not a, not a person that I want to see back on the show. And I know a lot of people feel that way. And I'm glad that Kenya Moore clapped back because she needed to. Because one thing that we don't play with is life and death. And there's life and death in the power of the tongue. And I believe that, you know, I believe in the power of affirmations. I believe in speaking things into existence. And so for Kim to say, oh, is that B still alive? First of all, you out here calling, you know, all these women of color out of their name, that's that's number one. Like somebody should have checked her. Sheree or somebody should have checked Kim a long time ago. And I know Andy Cohen loves to protect her. And, you know, I don't know if it's the blonde wig or whatever he thinks is cute. It's not. It's disrespectful. And I'm glad that she did. I'm glad that she said what she said. And Kim can, you know, go somewhere, get a job elsewhere off our TV screens because she doesn't bring anything to the table. Like, there's nothing there except bad wigs, bad conversation, and just bad energy and a tongue that just wishes death upon people. Nope. Next. Y'all drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts and please like, share, and subscribe. If you're new here, welcome. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care, aces. Bye.